actually I'll give you guys a bonus um, I don't know if many of you guys have looked at it it's in my description so it's a little hidden but I do provide a link to a website called GPS for the number four sport.com allows me to upload my GPS track in a I believe it's a GPX format and this site allows you to visualize on a Google Earth map in 3d your flight both altitude your location speed everything and then in top of that synchronizing it to your YouTube video so another tool to your debriefing so how do I go about recording the GPS track so the first thing you'll need is a GPS device I mean you could use your phone but the phone is not quite as accurate so I had this old GPS device uh, I think it's a Garmin Mobile 10 uh, I think the new one is called a new or something like that anyways it's a hundred dollars it's just a little Bluetooth puck here's what it looks like without the anti-slip skid so once you uh, have that and you connect it to your phone which I'll show in a minute you use a software use a software such as this called ultra GPS logger hopefully the glare is not uh, showing too much ergo I'll tilt it down so ultra GPS logger allows you to connect to your Bluetooth GPS device and start recording uh, there's a lot of information here you don't need that so when you record it creates a track that looks like this all my tracks are here so for example today's uh, return from Okeechobee you can obviously open it play it back send it so I often I usually send it by email to my account so I can download and then process it and upload to GPS for sport.com so if we view it you'll notice that uh, it brings it up in a Google Earth map and shows you your track with a red line so we can see here I took off from Okeechobee went somewhere along the shoreline all the way to here at LaBelle went south and my battery's dying great so going south to Immokalee where I did a stop and go uh, and uh, took off for Everglade City before coming back so it shows you the track to actually use your Bluetooth you'll need to obviously turn on the GPS blue light comes on it's all repaired uh, I do not remember the process but I'm sure you can figure it out it's not too hard go in your phone setting turn on the Bluetooth so Bluetooth is now activated we'll see here under location the use provider just switched from my phone to it now says GPS BT Bluetooth so it's now talking to my GPS or the GPS I don't know which way it goes probably the GPS to the phone and the GPS is not giving the coordinates to the phone every I don't know what the refresh rate probably every second or so and it records on the phone a file with all your information when you're done obviously when you you're ready to start you click start log it records it you're done stop log email it to yourself awesome tool like I said works great for debriefing hope you enjoyed it have a good day